In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the gradient tool. And the gradient tool allows me to go smoothly from one color to another color, and it will blend between those two colors, between those two colors. So I have a lot of options with my gradient tool. First thing you need to understand is that I'm applying a gradient to whatever layer that I currently am. So if I wanted to add a new layer, I could continue to create new gradients on new layers. In this case, just to show you this tool, I'm just going to create it on this background layer. So the first thing, if I click on this gradient, I have some preset options that are here. Any one of these that I select will actually be loaded up here in this palette, and I can customize that as much or as little as I want to. So right now, I'm simply going to be going from white to black. So if I were to come down here inside of my canvas, and I were to click a line, I'm going to be creating a gradient from white to black. So where I started my point is going to be white, where I ended my point is going to be black, and then depending on the length of my line, depending on how much gradient that I have. So you'll see here when I draw a long line and click and drag, it creates a long gradient. If I click and drag a short line, it'll create a short gradient with other sides of those lines being filled with my other two colors. I could also change it to any of these other preset options, and you'll see up here in the color palette these all continue to change. So I'm just going to continue to show you what a few of these look like. It continues to create that gradient. So I can use some of these preset ones that are there. What I can also do is I can choose whatever colors that I want. So if I wanted this to go from white on one side to black on the other side, but I really didn't want it to be white. I actually wanted it to be another color. I could just simply uh, click right here, which is going to be that color. If I click over here, it changes that color palette. So if I click on the white and I wanted to change that white to red, it's now going to have a gradient from red to black. And if I didn't want it to be black, I could change that color to be, let's say, yellow. And now when I draw my gradient, my gradient is going to be from red to yellow. But let's say I wanted to add a color of blue right in the middle. I could just simply click anywhere, and I can continue to make that gradient more or less or different area. Let's say I wanted to make the middle of that gradient, I wanted that to be blue. So now I'm going to go from red to blue and then blue to yellow. So not only do I have the some of the preset options here, I could also customize it to whatever gradient that I want, and I could also remove it. So if I really didn't want that blue, I could just remove that blue color that's there. Or if I like this one, but I wanted to get rid of the tan colors that are here in the middle, I could do that and then I could space these other ones out. I could create a custom gradient as much as I want to. So a lot of options here just simply with the colors that are there. What I've showed you so far is the linear gradient. So these go along a straight line from where I click and start to where I uh, let it go at the end. I also have this radial gradient that will go around in a circle. I have a few different spread methods as well. So when I pad, what it does is it pads it to the outside. So if I have a smaller gradient, the pad on the outside is going to be the colors that were on the outside of my gradient. You could also change this method to reflect, and it will just continue to reflect the gradient on the outsides to infinity. And the same thing here is it will continue to repeat, so it will continue to repeat the, that gradient as it goes on and on. So a few different options here endless possibilities of how I want that gradient to look. And again, if I add a new layer and I add a new gradient on there, I have the ability to add gradients on independent on their own layer.